The Nassau County Museum of Art is currently featuring an exhibit of Civil War paintings by acclaimed artist Mort Kunstler. And reporter Kyle Wrighton recently caught up with the artist to talk about his artwork. For artist and Oyster Bay resident Mort Kunzler, painting events from the Civil War is his way of expressing his admiration for art. Kunzler's work is currently on display at the Nassau County Museum of Art in Roslyn Harbor, and he says he's enjoyed painting this historic event for the past two decades. Why Civil War is a good question, I think, and um, it's just that I'm an artist. I love painting pictures. I think most artists sort of want to make a living painting pictures and they just sort of like salmon, they swim upstream. And it just happened by pure coincidence. It's a lengthy story. The exhibit is called For Us the Living, which Kunzler says is an excerpt from President Lincoln's Gettysburg Address and the title of Kunzler's newly released book, which contains the various paintings. The idea of the show is basically to show the procedure that an artist goes through, or at least that I go through. And most people think that you face a, uh, a big white canvas and start painting away. But in my work, it's, it's a, a procedure that's time honored and very old. We stand on the shoulders of those who came before us. Local artist Mort Kunzler created paintings like this one here, which depicts General W.T. Sherman. Sherman is in Atlanta when fires raged during the Civil War. We asked some museum patrons what they think of the paintings. This particular exhibit really piqued my curiosity because I've been very interested in the Civil War. And in looking at the different galleries, it really showed the difference between the North and the South. I enjoy the uh, period of time, the Civil War, that Mr. Kunstler, Mort Kunstler, has worked in. And I find this use of color and perspective to be quite brilliant and good. For us, the living will be on display until early next year. In Roslyn Harbor, Kyle Wrightan, LI News Tonight. Thank you.